Hey everybody, it's Rory. We are upstairs with a brand new pair of pants today from Dye. These are the Dye FLX pants. So the Dye Flex pants right here. If you're looking for a durable, lightweight, flexible pant at a very reasonable price, you gotta be looking at these Flex pants right here. So overall, it is a, um, a very lightweight, very flexible pant. I can take this pant and I can kind of just crumple it up. I always like to do this to show you that there isn't a lot of padding or anything in this pant, which if you're going to be wearing pads underneath, you don't need a lot of padding in the pant itself. If you're going to be wearing knee pads or sliders or something like that, you're really looking for an outer shell that's going to hold up while you're out there playing. Now, if you're not going to be wearing pads underneath, then you maybe want to look at a pant that's got a lot of padding built into it. But otherwise, um, look at this flex pant right here. So we'll start at the top with the pant. I'm gonna kind of turn this this way. We can look at the top right here. It does not have a fly in any way. So it is a stitched fly. It is um, completely uh, closed up. So you can't open it in any way right there. It has a drawstring, so you can tighten it up. And it is an elastic waistband right here. So we have the, um, the closure ability of the elastic, but since it's going to kind of try to fit multiple sizes, uh, you kind of do need to tighten it up a little bit right there, depending on how big your waist is. So it does have the drawstring with it. Uh, coming down the sides here, we have two pockets on each side. Two pockets total, one on each side. I want to make sure we're clear on that. Uh, and the pockets are pretty deep. So if I move this one here, move this tag out of the way. It's a decent sized pocket right there. I can fit my whole hand in it. It comes to right about there. You can see my fingers wiggling around in there. So I can fit my whole hand inside there. So it's a good size pocket. Uh, so you can fit whatever you need to put in your pockets. Most people are just throwing a barrel sleeve inside there in between games. Coming down the front, we have, we have a sublimated graphic on here. So we've got the Die Sphere logo sublimated into there. The knees are reinforced material. It's like a 500 denier Denier, Denier, I think is how that's pronounced. Uh, nylon fabric right there. So 500D, two-way stretch nylon fabric, double stitched. So we've got a super secure stitching to hold the knee in place, plus the knee stretches. Now this knee does not have any padding in it. It's not a padded knee, but we get a stretchable, movable knee. So when you hit the ground, when you're sliding, the knee is going to be able to move with you and not just be a rigid structure. So when you hit the ground, it puts all the flex and all the force on the stitch zone and just blam, blows those stitches out right there. So reinforced two-way stretch knee system right there. In the crotch and through the rest, we've got that four-way stretch. So, um, you know, I would say pretty much all pants these days that are being made have that stretch capability, especially in the crotch area. I can't tell you how many pairs of pants I blew out in my early days because they didn't, hadn't figured that out yet. They didn't know that that's the way it needed to be. They didn't get the wide stance. They didn't get the preformed uh, shape for the knees, which these have right here. These die pants already have that knee bend that you're looking for built in, or I should say uh, constructed into the pant. So it's already going to form to the way your legs just naturally want to be while you're moving right there. Let me go down to the bottom here. I'm going to flip this. Right, so we can get down to the lower section of the pant. Maybe I'll just turn it. There we go. That's better. Um, so breathable material all the way down through. We have a little bit of a die, an embroidered die logo at the bottom. And then the cuffs are just a normal open cuff down here. There is no drawstring through them. There is no elastic in them. Um, so take that for what you will right there. Uh, if you're buying these pants, I would highly recommend that you buy them true to your size. Because as we've all seen with paintball pants, if they are too long or um, if they are too big for you, the cuff tends to hang over your cleat or whatever shoe you're wearing and it'll get caught underneath it or it just gets destroyed because you're just trampling all over it when you're trying to play. So. If you have to buy ones that are too long to fit your waist size up here, maybe you want to think about getting those tailored and cuffed up. Because again, there is no drawstring, elastic, or Velcro 
on the cuff at the bottom. Flip her over. We've got breathable material up through the back. Remember, this is where your pack is gonna be resting right here. So you're gonna be generating a lot of heat in that area just because you've got a bunch of material stacked up on top of each other. So to have a stretchable, breathable material up through the top, it's gonna give you that airflow. It's gonna be a little bit more comfortable to be uh, running around in. We've got the die logos on the side. We've got swab pod pockets, one on each side of here. So there's a total of four pockets two hand pockets at the front, two swab pockets on the side. We talked about the stretch zone right here. So we've got that stretch all the way through the butt and the crotch of the pant right there, or the seat as they like to call it of the pant. And then coming down the back side, stretchable, super stretchy, breathable material. I'm gonna see if I can see my hand through this right here. Put my hand up inside here. Oh no, you really can't see through it but it is like a mesh net material, but it's got a ton of stretch to it right here. It really has some good movement on it right there. You got that on both sides, on the inside thigh area right there. So we've got that, that airflow coming through and then the backside down to the cuff again. I like the way pants are trending lately. Minimalistic, I think that's what we need right there. Especially if people are wearing knee pads underneath, you're wearing elbow pads up on the top, I don't think the clothing needs to be big and bulky and dyes hit it perfect with this one. A home run for pants, I think, right here for the FLX pants. My only concern would be the cuffs on the bottom, but I think that's easily dealt with. If you get your pants to size right or you just roll them up or whatever you need to do. All right, guys. So as of right now shooting this, the black gray one right here is the only color available in the FLX pant. Who knows if that will change? We might have more colors down the road. Uh, so just check the website for availability on colors and on sizes right there. And again, as with everything, try to, to fit your pants to the proper size. There's no need to make them big and bulky anymore because the padding's not in the pants. So uh, Dye FLX Pants, Dye Flex Pant. It's a new one from Dye, and I think it's a winner. Get yours today at ansgear.com.